Try dialing the 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 phone codes. Every time you learn the code, they change it, you know? And the celebrities are mocking us, like John Lithgow was the first one. He's like, dial 10, 3, 2, 1. Okay. No, dial 10, 10, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 1. And then 1. And then the number. It's just that simple. Look, take the sum of the first three digits, divide by seven, round up to the nearest whole integer. If that total is a 10 or 11, double down unless the dealer's showing a face card. Hop on one foot, form a trapezoid for each independent calling area, wrap yourself in a phony curtain. I recently saw <laughs> a dog in a cage, and the cage had a sign on it that said, I bite. <laughs> and I was like, that is good to know, doggy. <laughs> but you should make a sign that says, I make signs. <laughs> it's nice to know that you might lash out at me, being a human being and all, but you're missing out on a lot of money in the <laughs> dog sign making industry. Who wouldn't want to own a sign made by a dog? <laughs> Your friend would come over, you'd be like, a dog made that. <laughs> and he'd be like, what's on cable? Is there anything to eat? You know what my buddy Steve did to me one night? We were sitting at a red light. We weren't even doing anything wrong. And the cop came up and was sitting in the lane next to us. We're both just at the light. Nothing's happening until this rolls down his window and starts waving, hey, 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 dude, hey. And the cop rolls down his window, what is it, son? Are you lost? You need some instructions? No, I'm trying to get that dude in the back's attention. <laughs> We're looking for some good weed. I bet you he knows. <laughs> Apparently he's up in some, what? Women want a man. This is my history, my research, bro. Women want a man with confidence. A man with confidence. He brings, and, okay, and money. <laughs> Asians all over Major League Baseball. I think that's great because before, if I wanted to cheer for Asians in sports, I only had two options. Michelle Kwan, and half of Tiger Woods. That's it. <laughs> figure skating. Mm. Very hard for a heterosexual man to cheer for figure skating. I've tried. Bobby Tom Michelle's on. Ooh, she's got on the red sequin dress. She means business tonight. <laughs> oh, is that thing from Aladdin? No, oh, kick ass. imagine like you, you haven't like your dad being like a famous musician like somebody that's ridiculously famous like I didn't watch much of the Osbournes but can you imagine Ozzy freaking Osbourne being your dad you know <laughs> Good morning, officer. No, sir, we're on our way to church. We like to get there six hours early. Parking is a... I mean, upsetting. Come on. What? He always throws up on the way to church. He's excited about the Lord. 
Some people speak in tongues. He throws up. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he is really praising today. When I was about 14, my father caught me drinking. I said, Dad, that's the first time. He said, that's a lie. No one ever gets caught the first time. So that day I robbed a bank. I worked as a bartender for nine years, you know, so I was always used to people ordering strange drinks, coming up to me ordering strange drinks, you know, like hurricane, mudslot, you know, drinks named after natural disasters. Come on, that's a little weird, you know? I said, let's get real about it, people. Let's start naming drinks after disasters that occur from the consumption of alcohol, you know? Go out your friends, yeah, bartender, hook me up with a suspended license. <laughs> yeah, I want a pregnancy for my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, my boys having sleep with ugly women. <laughs> Surround the tragedies on the kid. Table right smack dab behind me, right directly behind me. There was a girl sitting there. She started choking. She started to gag. Of course, being the kind of guy that I am, I went over and gave her artificial insemination. <laughs> Big mistake. That's for seizures. <laughs> Any nurses here? Okay, it's for seizures. <laughs> hey. I know you're looking up here thinking, gosh, Hank, uh, how do you get the babes every single time? Actually, I've been seeing this very attractive girl now for the last four months. I've been seeing a lot of attractive girls, really, because I got a telescope for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got young kids at home? Anybody? By applause? Yeah? yeah? Nice. How, how many kids do you have over here, folks? One? Boy or girl? Girl. Did you videotape the birth? No. <laughs> Good. Don't. <laughs> Because we did, and now that tape's sitting up in the shelf, I know it's going to change the whole father-son talk. <laughs> Daddy, where'd that come from? Well, if you want to grab some popcorn and lower the lights. <laughs> kind of explained itself, really. You know. But how did I get in there? Well, that's a different tape altogether. Um, <laughs> we don't normally believe in spanking, but your mom was very bad that day. And, uh, Things got out of hand. Um, so, I heard that they're going to be doing exper they're experimenting with pot to see if there's any medical uses for pot. I've been doing my own experiments with pot informally. I'm not connected with any institutions. Just doing my own private work. What I do is I sit at home, I smoke some pot, put on a lab coat, and then I just jot down random observations. Yes. I believe that I am very, very hungry. I can corroborate the stand-up comedian's munchy theory that I've heard so much about. Yes, I could eat a large bag of Cheetos. Plus, I'm riding in the air with my finger. Maybe I'm hot. 